And I'm back. We can consent upon this. Be it is for before. ideological okay. warfare. Not positive for I'd have to ask her when. All right. I, I think I know which change. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Would you care to start reading it? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, good. The GA proposal. This proposal is brought because all finance proposals over $200 have to be passed through GA. The Ideological Liberation Working Group has made financial criminal cards and say, wanted for financial crimes. We are requesting funds to print the cards for Ben Bernanke and Timothy Geithner. The printing costs are $165 for 5,000 of each card. So we are requesting 165 times two or $330 to print both the criminals. I already was here when she proposed this. How much is our treasury? About six. 600 or 6,000? 1,000. <laughs> and did we pay for this? Yes. Yeah. That, that, that was the nice. first round. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, it's money well spent. Yeah. It's good money. I think so. It's good propaganda. And he's going to be, Timothy Geithner is going to be here and I think coming up. Yeah, I Do we have any questions or concerns to direct at uh, this proposal? Not if anybody, Robert. The viewers can see it out here. But. Um, I, I think if you're a government official, you put yourself in the public square. So you're certainly vulnerable to people expressing their opinions against what you do. Yeah. I, 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 as part of Occupy, I don't feel, I don't feel that a personal attack is, is particularly a good idea. Um, I'll stand aside. Uh, but a personal attack on private individuals doesn't doesn't really feel like occupied. So you know, in a in a in a collective sort of everybody's welcome part of occupied, I say, you know, let's be nice and let's. But but we're we're nice and tough, and we stand up for our rights, and we stand up for the rights of people who get thrown out of their homes. So I'm with that. But I I, I would stand aside on a personal attack. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, of course you can. But to a government official, it's completely... Okay. You know, with, I'm, just, I'm speaking for myself. I've read this Richard Blum card various times. And what it points out are things that are serious business that we don't believe in, such as his money that goes to nuclear weapons research. We have to point these things out, no matter how much money you have, because if it's wrong, it needs to be publicized. So I'm in agreement with publishing these cards. Okay, so if we're going to have a discussion, a round, round table discussion, I suggest that we utilize stack so that we don't jump stack. And there is no direct response anymore to jump stack, right? Unless the person who is actually giving the proposal has wants to respond to somebody who is going to stand aside or has something, some information that's standing aside like Robert did. If he wants to respond to him, he can. But no more direct response to jump stack, so let's take stack. Go ahead, Gypsy. Um, based upon, and I do, I haven't read it, but I've glanced at it and taken a look at it. And I don't see these cards so much as a personal attack, as much as attacking the person's po politics. The way that the person runs their finances. And it's doing things that are criminal, really, if you think about it, and need to be pointed out to the public, because otherwise the public is just going to continue on in its idiocy. However, I do agree with your con with the concept behind what you said. Go ahead, Robert. Oh, um, thanks for that. Uh, made me think. Uh, I'm of the opinion that if, if there is a person who is a criminal, uh, the public should be concerned and should uh, ask, demand justice. However, um, make a charge. Okay, make the charge to go through the civil legal process of making it stick. Okay, because that's the only way you get real results. Okay, civilly, peaceably, you put the handcuffs on. We, we, we demand the lobby enforced. Bumping up. <laughs> okay. Any other concerns? This isn't a concern. It's okay. So we're doing concerns okay. right now. We're doing concerns. Anybody else want to get on stack for concerns about this proposal, Mike sure. Goldman? Um, the only thing I would be concerned with at all is it doesn't really state um, necessarily that this is going to bring funds back in. But I think it might be something that if 
if it were used in a way to fund itself in the long run, it might be better. That's all. Phil? I just have a concern that we haven't seen the cards, have we? Have we seen the cards? Which? We've seen these cards. Similar to this. Just these two cards. So we've got the prototype. You know, the, yeah, just yeah, a different face. Yeah, just a different face. Picture yeah. and text. But they haven't been printed yet. That's so why they're asking for them. Right. I guess you would have to ask Rob on that because he's the one who's uh, ad hoc this this. Uh, yeah. Rob, can you just uh, tell us are the cards identical to these? In other words, it say wanted for yes, criminal it's the same crimes. Format, okay. but they're of different content. Are there any other concerns? Are there any blocks or stand asides? Would you like to express why you're standing aside? I mean, Robert's already done that. You have every right to give us your... I don't care about Okay. <laughs> so since there are no blocks... Right. Masked. Yes. Is there room for praises? Sure. You can praise whoever you want. I just feel this is a great way of talking about the issues. I second of, the of praise. criminal malfeasance in the highest places. It reminds this me fucker yeah. is the head of the uh, essentially the head of the board of regents and he is so in dirt is investing them in private uh, uh, private colleges it's it reminds me of what the US did for the Iraq war with the terrorist cards like so it's the same thing you know it's like who's the real terrorist I have to so I'm going to write so it's getting yes. yes. all right so are there I know it's not these cards were at Occupy LA. Yeah! The precedent has been Any more set. proposals yeah. that were brought up prior to this GA to that needs to be consensed upon? If not, we'll move on to new proposals, which will have to be tabled to a subsequent GA, probably Tuesday. Actually, since this is a prior proposal, but it is amended. No. This yep. proposal was brought up for a new phone, but there's amendment because of what happened recently. <laughs> there's a new amendment to an old proposal. It's this totally is different. a pro proposal it for may a be, I would say it may be emergency. It this is a time-restrictive matter. That, yeah. we, with that well, let's read it. Not and that, any, let's see. I mean, not okay. I was for one. Okay, this one. is a time-restrictive matter. The recent unfortunate resignation of our live stream 101 and all SF phone holder accounts has left the camp and Occupy SF without all phones and live stream ability. This matter needs immediate consideration. We had three phones. We need three phones at the lowest possible rate available for Occupy and this main campsite on a 24-hour-a-day basis. Live stream capable. This will replace what we had and lost within the last five days. That includes buying one refurbished or Craigslist phone and reactivating three who's a few have already been generously donated by occupiers to be reactivated if such account could be maintained. The total cost would be between $350 and $400 depending on how cheaply we can get the refurbished phone live stream cable. How much did it say? All right, so I'm going to open stack because this is going to be, I know there's going to be a lot of concerns and questions about this because this is not the first time that we had to <laughs> do this. this. So this Mike Goldman's on stack. Anyone else with concern? So my, so my, my question really is um, what happened to the phones that we previously purchased and paid for service on, correct? Did not the person that had those phones owe us that back? Okay. We paid for service on the phones, but the original phone belonged to him. He added phones to his account. Right. When he didn't get paid back in his allotted time frame, he took them all back and left. Doesn't he owe us some of those phones or something? Actually, of that he or owes a bill that we have not paid, I believe. 
I can speak to this. Yeah, he I mean, can speak, speak to this. this. Um, he bought. Okay, we entered three different contracts with with Sprint. The first contract he bought the phone. He the first contract or the first account he bought the phone. The second one we paid, I think it was off eighty five dollars for, and then the third one was free. It, but they were all bought at a discount because he got a two year contract, which he is now responsible for. So we really only paid for one of the phones and he's gonna now have to incur the cancellation fees because, because he left. We were gonna transfer two over to us and carry on with them, but the one ended up being damaged, so we're actually probably gonna have to buy another one and then, uh, then we would have just continued with the other one and finished out the contract. So that's what we were about to have to do is if we were gonna take them back, two of them, and then we would have had to replace one because it was already going. Can I just clarify though, without getting into the detail, the, too much of it specific, okay. that did we pay for service that we had approved or did we not get him a, a check or something or what? What is our current payment like? What what service have we paid for? The last and monthly as, stuff. As to as to the monthly plan, yeah, we we had just paid the bill recently, and that is for the past month's usage. So it's not for the so month ahead. It's not for the next month. Oh, the last payment is at the end of the cycle. You did take the phones. Well, he's paying for the phones. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have my hand up here. Sorry. So my, my only concern, my only question is this, is that do we have the live stream account still? No, he has. He has it. Yeah. So not only do the phones are then just not, not for the live streaming then. No, he doesn't have the live stream account. He does um, not have the premium account. We have not paid yeah. for a premium account. Our premium account that was donated was stolen a long time ago. The phones we're talking about are not for a premium account, which would cost a couple hundred dollars more. We're just trying to get the internet capability, and if you have to watch a damn commercial, you're going to watch it. But we should have live stream 24 hours a day. Yeah. That's what we're ben, talking about. Here. Ben, who has the right. account, That's a different may be thing. more willing to transfer it because he really had the issue with James. James, right. Oh, right. right. That's yeah, I, I also, had a, I also had the passwords to the account, too. Okay. So, and I talked to Ben today. And he's more than willing to resume. Actually, we're live streaming. We're actually streaming on the channel right now. Wonderful. Oh, good, so, good, good. But we yeah. need a 24-hour day phone at sites such yeah, as Yeah, there needs this. to be a phone here. Yeah. There yeah. needs that's to be, right. and that's at why this one. is a time-sensitive matter. We had three. Well, he well took the body out. will decide whether or not it's a time-sensitive matter. Okay, well, okay. that's what I'm, I'm proposing, uh -huh. that it's a time-sensitive right. matter. Right. And I hope that you truly consider this, and thank you. Right. Can I say something? Uh, since we're on the subject, I'd also like to say the band is... As always, perfectly welcome to come back. Yes, oh. uh, uh, kudos yeah. to Ben coming back. There's a problem between them two mostly. He was always welcome. It's, so this proposal seems along. like a two-part proposal. The first part, whether or not it's time. He's actually on the other the end of this. The second part, the actual, uh, you know, releasing of the funds to get the three phones and, and actually facilitate what what Nick's proposing. Well, possibly two if Ben comes back, then only two. So Rick, the one for here, and if Ben comes back, then you'll have what it will be. Well, I don't right. know if that fucking will happen. Yeah. Well, I would Side put a friendly amendment that, that if Ben comes back with live stream, well, he's probably no, got us. Ben doesn't go out on the street. No, he, he just produces. He just produces. Okay, well, yeah. great. So, then, yeah, so let's let, let's bring up the first. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Let's bring up the first part, whether or not it's a time-sensitive um, matter. Um, Let's open stack for that. We're not we're not consensing on it right now. We're just gonna if people want to discuss it because I see Phil has uh, his hand up. A clarifying question. Go ahead. Have, have we checked with the, uh, the Peter that has about four or five thousand dollars worth of of, of uh, phone and camera equipment that was donated to us? Whether or not he has a, has a phone that can be used. I know James Jennison has been using that phone. Correct. Yeah, I think he would be upset if we took it, but that is an avenue we could, we could go down. He claims to be making good use of it. They've argued that. Because well, we, well, we, 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 the, the last live stream phone that we got was, was purchased when he had that other one. So 
there, at that time it was deemed so should that it, should, it, should this phone. body be the one that determines who uses this body's phone? Yes. It's not well, just this body's phone, it's Occupy SF, the camp. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more than one phone. This body is in control of all of the finances. That's right. Finances that are over a certain amount have to be cleared through this body. Yeah. We have no choice. We already had it, and everything we had was cleared. We already had it because of one member's unfortunate resignation. I'm not going to go into details because this isn't that type of thing. Because of what happened, we lost what we had, and we just want what we already had, which was working in a sense pretty decently yeah. with a couple of small issues that we have actually just about yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not debating that I, yeah. I'm, I'm not debating I'm just asking the question how we check current inventory we already have in this movement and yes. you're saying we have but people we haven't, haven't checked three. out we were minus yeah, basically. three okay yeah we were minus three that were just recently okay taken. okay Nick I'm gonna have to, have have to, to just down. stop yeah. just for a second because there are other people that need to yes. speak yes. ask their questions and go ahead Gypsy in regards to the case of the time sensitive matter um, on this issue Please take into consideration that, at the very least, in the case of the 101 Market phone, if you all take a small look to your respective whatever direction this is, SFPD is present, and they are fully aware that we don't have live stream and can't show the world what they do to us right now. Well, now that you spelt it out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just taking stock. Yeah, now they know. I don't give them that much credit. Okay, yeah. They're getting your report. Now they know. I have a They're just getting $5 an hour. They're not really working. Thank you, Chief. They're daydreaming. Anybody else have any concerns or questions about the time sensitive issue? Nick, Chief, 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 yeah, I'm not aware that we have a, a specific way to determine what's time sensitive. Sensitive it varies from GA to GA, right? I guess so. Okay, I just want to make sure this wasn't taken as concrete as the way it's done. No, no, no. 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 I don't understand why it's not time sensitive. I don't, don't think we're saying it, it, No one's it, saying it's not time sensitive. I think we're discussing whether it is time sensitive. Okay, well, I'm going to say why I feel about how it is time sensitive. It's very time sensitive. If you think about it, how crucial this movement is to start off with, and how hard we work out here to start off with, with everything that we do every day, 24 hours a day. I stay up every night out here and watch everybody out here. If someone wants to go down or whatever, and we need it live stream so that it's seen. And we don't. We've been out here um, now four days without it. So anything could have happened between now and four days ago already that nobody would even know of. Right. So to say that, that it's not time sensitive or to think that it shouldn't be time sensitive when it comes down to something that every other uh, asset occupied anywhere else has to have at all times anyway, and we don't have, there's no way it's not time sensitive. That's right. I call the question. Uh, Mark, we're not running this is under not Robert Okay, Rose. motion Sorry. for summary Rose. judgment. Just to be clear, Raphael, <laughs> we're just following the process that we have agreed upon in in the GAs prior to this GA. Yeah, no, no, yo, it's appreciated. You're holding it down. I know that. So, any other concerns or... Yeah, I, I just want to make sure that, uh, I mean, I don't know if that is the case, that other occupiers everywhere that have physical encampments do have a like phone capability. I know it's a bonus, but I don't think that's definitely set in stone. My concern is like that one that happened before, what happened to the last set of phones and the people that had those phones. And I know it wasn't even had to do with the person that we're not going to bring up right now. There are some other people involved. Correct. And I'm just concerned because that was one of the last proposals I voted on. And it kind of feels like we're just kind of throwing money around. Okay. We don't have a lot of it. Maybe one or two phones would be good. Maybe we don't need three. I yeah. got a direct response Put a cap to on it. Wait, let him finish. All three of those phones were returned to the owner. All three phones, none were lost. They were all still here. We had problems and people that brought up issues because they didn't get to use them. That were put down at GA, okay. but all three, none were lost. One hit a, a screen part. That issue. doesn't matter. It's, oh, it's all good. And then my second part to that would be how, how much a month is it going to cost? $70. 70 bucks! So it's seventy dollars a month. Live stream capable for all three. For yeah, the the what we're doing. You get a discount to for sign three. Plan? Well, that's the thing. What we're doing different this time. That was a yeah. problem last time. We, we put it in James's name, and then he really kind of became controlish with it, and yeah. he would demand them back when he'd get mad. And 
it, I mean, it was really a problem. Cool. We and need to go there. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, good. So good, what we're good. doing is we're getting a refurbished phone, cool. and then oh, we'll just pay the monthly bill right. Right. without a contract. So if somebody yeah. no runs contract, off, document. you know. Okay, cool. I have Raul, and then I have Gypsy, and then, and then Raphael. And then I think we might open it up just to get that part of this two-part proposal taken care of. Thank go ahead, Raul. Uh, it's within my memory, we had a similar proposal when we didn't have live stream. We needed live stream. It was an emergency. We passed it, and the next morning it was needed, and it wasn't there. But there was it was definitely time was, sensitive. It was like, I was well, too bad we don't have a live stream. You know? Also, uh, I think it would be good if, if we like had some kind of like way to back all this up on on some kind of an external drive okay. and copy. Let, let's just let's stick with the so with what we're talking about. Yanked off of the, go yeah. ahead, Gypsy. But uh, Tita Mancini has that capacity. That capacity. You can go to Peter. He has an eight terabyte hard drive for yeah. Occupy Um That's good. That's good. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. In the case of the question of the security of the phones, is somebody going to run off of them? I think a good idea for something along those lines would be whoever's doing the signing of or doing the contract or whatever. If an actual phone plan does get put in place prior to putting the, their name on the account, signs an agreement that their name is on the account solely for the sake that somebody's got to hold it, but it is the sole, the, the account is occupied, not theirs. Occupied for priorities. Raphael. I'm trying to cover each one. Great. Can, can I say, I, I hate to keep jumping in, no, but go, I do go, have a lot of information. If you have something to say, say it. The, um, two of the phones belong to other people, so if they run off, we just stop well, paying the bill. Amended, of course, because oh, uh, we and, do and have two phones the that'll be donated. So, yeah. If they run off at any time, it's really and not we have one. We should do that for the one phone that yeah. we purchase. Whoever holds the, the phone that's purchased, they should have to sign under penalty of perjury, I would say, that the, it, it, it is not their property. Well. Yeah, it, it's not their property. Okay, so if there are no, no more concerns, or, you go ahead. If there are no more concerns or questions, let's come to a consensus on whether or not this is time sensitive. Time sensitive. Who has any? Con I mean, does anyone have a block that this is time con time sensitive? Someone has a stand. Aside. Are there any stand asides? Consensus on time sensitive. Let's move on to the next part of this proposal, which is the actual giving of the funds to get the phones that are needed. Are there any concerns or questions about the second part of the proposal, which is the financial aspect of the proposal, actually paying for the phones and getting the service? Does anybody have concerns or questions? I have a friendly amendment. A friendly amendment right here. Uh, I'd by all means be 100% for getting a single phone immediately. That's my friendly amendment as it's changing from three to one. We can get a better deal if we actually go with what we had, and not only that, it's seventy dollars a month. I mean, honestly, the truck was We can get a better deal with the plan we already had. It'll be cheaper for us, and not only will we not only be helping this site, but also two others who would have been indirectly affected by our last proprietors. Right. Fuck up this. Kyle, I think it makes sense to have a comms phone and a live stream phone. There you go. That's two, and I'm, I'm sure that you can amend to whatever the next person that needs a phone. Clarifying question. What is a comms phone? Communications for here on the ground. Just yeah. phone. That's Somebody you don't have call. to have a smartphone. It can just Somebody to call. Right. Somebody yeah. to just yeah. communicate. Yeah. 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 Just somebody to call and, you know, hey. And then the live yeah. stream for protection, for transparency. That way, you know, right. hey, shit's happening. They're about to break okay. my phone. Dude. All right, so so we have we have Raphael here who has a phone that he's willing to sign over. Go ahead and explain what you're willing to do. I'm willing to sign this over to Occupy. It takes $60 a month for unlimited web, whatever else we need, and talk, whatever, so that we can get a hold of each other, whatever. Live stream, I'm not sure. That's not This would be the, it has, it has video and everything else like it would need besides live stream. I'm not sure what live stream. Go ahead. I think uh, we should go with Metro. It's a contract. Metro is 20, a loose mobile. Yeah, but it's only $25 a month. I think that should be worked out later. And yeah. unlimited. These are details that can be worked okay. out yeah. later. Kyle, I also feel like putting 
phones into person's hands, it's gonna be the same mistake we made. Not to say you're gonna walk away with your phone later I at all. Yeah, but the, that's kind of what happened last time was we get our own phones on Occupy San Francisco's account. And that's nobody why can said, walk away with it. And them. that's why I said on a 24 hour day yeah, basis. If, if there the are no more questions or concerns, let us go to the. Do you have to, you're about to raise your hand. I see that. In the case of the phone that is being used for live stream, I wouldn't trust it at all. I don't know. I'm using it right now. I'm using Metro right now. Can I, what's on the table? It works fine. On the table is. You did have. He did have a friendly amendment. Yes. Are you saying we should only get one? Uh, yes. Even even if we get maybe one for live stream and then one for communication. And maybe we can use Raphael's phone for that. We had two, and then we need. We need two. One should be at the one on one 24 I mean, hours a day. We, we, we can't that remove. Big okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't no longer, if we're going to keep on going on, we're going to have stack because there's not going to be jumping stack and then just having a round table discussion. Okay, hold on. We're going to take stack again. Nick, you can go ahead. Gypsy will be next and Kobe, you're next. And then Rob. the amendment to make this work is that the phone be on the site 24 hours a day. Yeah. That means if we have a phone at the 101 24 hours a day and people decide to take part in a march or the commune or wherever else Occupy SF needs a phone, we have a comm phone and one more. That's what we had. They can be, these phones are meant to stay on site on time sensitive sites right. that means one phone will not work because it's only for here that means if you need to call your mom and don't want nobody hearing you ain't allowed to walk around the corner the phone stays here that means that's if, what you guys can work out amongst yeah, yourselves but it's that's why phone. that's why we had three that's why we okay. had three is a, a cheaper deal right that's why we did it so if you want to try to find a cheaper deal it's free if you pass this and you find a cheaper one, let's price match. Okay, I'm Gypsy. totally done. Okay. Point yeah. of process? Yeah, this is getting way too fucking detailed. I agree. We can work this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gypsy, you, I, I'm gonna finish off stack, and then we're gonna we're gonna come to consensus on this. Gypsy. It was uh, actually similar, uh, more clearly spoken version of <laughs> what? what Nick was saying. Is the reason why we had three phones was. Two of them were live stream. Two of them were live stream phones, correct? They're all three. They're all three, all three live streams. Mm -hmm. So that we could have the option of one being stationary and the other being mobile. Right. And it was a necessity that we do have, and that we still now still have now the, the lack. So at the very least, for the sake of live streams, two phones is yeah. needed. All right. I appreciate it, Kubi. You're up. No, You're good. Just, all right, uh, Rob. Do you have anything to? Yeah, do? I, I think we need three phones because when we have big actions, we always like to coordinate and have people in different spots. We're all over. If you keep handing a phone off to so many people, we we found that people end up not being that responsible with it. If someone is entrusted to take care of it, it what's worked for us is to rotate the people out. Just be like, I'm gonna be there. You can call from somewhere else, be like, hey, I'm gonna be there tonight. Okay, I got it covered. It's, I mean, it, it's a lot of work to have to coordinate with that person to do the exchange. I mean, it's it's a, it's a lot the only easier, question, and we, I think we need them for larger actions. The and only question I have is who's bottom lining this? Who's going to be who, who's going to be facilitating? Who gets the phones? And who is there going to be a checklist system? Are people going to sign them out? I mean, who who's going to be getting the phones? Uh, right now, be, you will have to write your name. If you take the phone, you are responsible for it. If you are not a known Occupy SF member or a known camp member, <laughs> you don't have a right to it. All right, and we all know who you are. Whatever group you're in, and you write down, hey, I got the phone, I'm responsible to it until I sign it back. This is an Occupy phone, it ain't a personal phone, and it's just the way it is. I, th I thought the way we were going to do it, because one phone was Chase's, one phone is Nick's, and then another phone is one we'd be buying. But that's so, if somebody so leaves. That's so, different. That, that's, that's different. That's that's different. That's that's different. different. I'm just, yeah. yeah. Whoever donated a phone, that's different. They don't mean that. Bill, I, I have a memory, a memory of uh, Peter coming here and, and providing a, a procedure for checking out equipment that we have. Check it out with him.
him. And there's a whole procedure and a form and all that stuff. Peter. 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 Peter, Peter uh, M. Bikini. 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 I'm curious if there's any kind of internet capacity on this. That can be worked about. out later, Raul. Yes. There is. Uh, okay, I would like to work that out because I can use. So, so if there are no more concerns, stack is completed. I say we come to consensus or not. Are there? Are there any blocks to this proposal that the finance committee will go ahead and finance buying three phones? No, we're, we're buying one, activating three. Buying one phone, activating three. Are there any blocks? Are they stand asides? Would you like to tell us why you're standing aside, both I of you? I think anything that we, we purchase should be subject to our other um, our procedures that we already have in place, which I mentioned uh, Peter has. Okay. Okay. Could be. Uh, as an ideological neo Luddite, uh, a pox on all your electronics. I'm not a, a believer in it, I don't use it. And it will bring us down, but that's my side affair that I will not get into here. And we have one more stand aside that I'd like to hear his. Uh, I think it's great that we have a communication phone here and one live stream phone here, but like the one we're on right now, I feel there are plenty of people that are live streaming their own accounts live right now. that are there for the, the large actions. actions. I've met many. James Jennison, yeah. Punk Boy. Just to Jeff name Boy, and <laughs> that's, tips. and that's why I feel that the Just other, more. the other one, uh, live stream phone would be excessive. They're only here on large events. I've never seen one here when we have stopped the supply law. We need to get by. <coughs> um, they're mostly to keep the cops honest. To, to keep the right. cops honest. And that's that's why we really need one right here, and we don't need a second one to go out because we have plenty of you other people. Call Ghostbusters. I got a phone. Okay, he's speaking. Can you, can you quit interjecting on him, Nick? Please. Are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, are there any more stand asides? All right. It's consensed. All right. <laughs> Yay. Do we have any new proposals? Okay, we have Kubrin, we have Gypsy. Do you I just suppose want to somebody should bring. Wait, 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 wait. Kubrin, sir. Kubrin, sir. Um, first of all, is your proposal written? We got to start. Yes. Doing uh, uh, beautifully. Oh, it is beautifully written. I read it twice. The written word. I already have one. Yeah. No, we need to make sure. Better. Thank you. Uh, I already got one. Uh, Bill had a good criticism. Can I be heard? Can I be heard? Bill had a good criticism, and I'm not sure this is the form that it needs to go out in. Indeed, it's a proposal to form a work group which technically does not have to be go before the GA. However, the politics involved in the question that I'm raising is very deep and goes to the heart of the Occupy movement nationally and locally. And so I wanted to bring it to the GA. And it has to do with the fact that there are going to be gatherings of regions or states or national of the various GAs. And we already know people are occupying, and we have a lot of people coming and saying hello. But these are going to take a more formal form and it's going to be where the nasty question of demands comes up and where questions of to what degree do we see ourselves as a reformist movement or to what degree do we see us as a revolutionary movement are going to come up and, and be debated regionally, state, and nationally. And if we fall into the practice of having people go to these conferences because they want to and they can afford it, if they don't have small kids or they're not disabled or they don't have the fucking money, yeah. if we allow simply individual initiative to decide who goes to these things, it will inevitably skew us politically into being not a, a um, defiance of the 1%, but a mirror of it in some way. We will incorporate in our movement the isms that we're fighting against. So I'm proposing a work group, but uh, Phil said, hey, it should be a discussion. And then out of that, I'd like to work with a number of people how to formulate something whereby we can send people who are not empowered to make decisions independent of us, but to make decisions with us. 
And there are models from the old anti-nuclear movement in the 80s about when we had actions in Vandenberg or in uh, Diablo Canyon or in Seattle, there were spokes council meetings because all the affinity groups couldn't meet together. You need a goddamn stadium. And you can't mic check in a, well, maybe you can. Uh, so affinity groups would send a rotating spoke to a spokes council and that rotating spoke, it rotated, would be there to communicate, uh, bring back concerns that were raised at the spokes council meeting, have a discussion within the affinity group, send back the next spoke with the decision. That works when you have a local thing like Seattle or the Bay Area. It doesn't work in New York or Boston or whatever. So maybe some sort of phone contact between us. But these are all questions to be explored. People should get some sort of subsidy or scholarship if they're traveling. We have to be inclusive. What does that mean? What sort of questions are these people authorized to take positions on? These are important political positions, but I think it's going to be the maturation of our movement as we begin to discuss them and figure out who we are and what we stand for. So I'm raising this proposal. I'd like to have people who are interested talk to me, but I'd like this to be a concern that we talk about as a political movement. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like talking about that. Okay. Of this. Oh, me, of course. Uh, <laughs> I definitely think that oh, networking is no, a good I'm idea. Sorry, that was a flip. That was a... Push. Here's where we're talking about the politics. Who yeah. would be in charge? I don't think anyone would be in charge. Not necessarily in charge. Who would be coordinating <laughs> most of these things? Well, I'm raising it, so <laughs> contact me and I will facilitate trying to, <laughs> to see a group form of it. I mean, uh, since I don't do electronics, someone else might be the habit in terms of communication. But I'd like to facilitate whatever degree I can this type of discussion going on because I think it's critical to our maturation and our success. If we have people representing us and coming to positions who are just doing it because they have the time and ability and financial wherewithal, that, or the race, or the gender, that will crash us. That's right. I have a question. Um, are people part of the working group? Could they be considered to be the one or two reps that's decided upon to go to these state and national? Um, that's a discussion to have in the working group and okay. in the GA. All right, thank you. None of this is decided. We do have a model from the 70s and 80s in the anti-nuclear movement, but it. That might work, but it's going to be have to be tweaked. That's what should be discussed in whoever's doing it. Right. Raul? Nice. I think this is a great idea, and I believe this needs an entirely lot more discussion. And I say if there's no more proposals, we start discussing it right now in the discussion phase of this chair. I'm going to need a chair. <laughs> Don't take five, goddammit. <laughs> Just saying. You got some I think it's a good idea. Who would you be trying to network with exactly? Like, um, Let's like say five people say, hey, this is interesting and I want to be part of it. Like, Nick looks like he might be one. Or you might be another. Then we get together and start talking and come up with guidelines that we bring before the GA for the GA's approval because this has to be GA stuff. And if a conference comes along and you know there are five people who want to go, you know, we yeah. need a how do we pick and how does it rotate? How do we pay for it? And how do we pay for it? We have a clarifying question. Um, is the what you're proposing the working group, the concept that they're going on is similar to <coughs> that uh, system that they had in Africa where like the small villages had their own little meetings and then they sent delegates and it like cha chained up and then went back down and they did back and forth until they got the decision. This is the first time I heard about it. It sounds oh. similar. 
Okay, teach well, me it's about awesome. it. Or, yeah, it's kind of actually how the we start. I guess. I mean, not necessarily the person now, who explained the consensus <laughs> process to me is the one who explained that to me. It sounds very similar to our, like it'd be the equivalent of a GA with a representative from each of the occupies all meeting together and not making a decision, but just presenting everything, taking all that info back, and then making you know the things and saying, this is what our Occupy says, yay or nay or whatever, friendly amendment, and just bounce back and forth until you get a pin out. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I thought it sounded like. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Does, uh, it works too, very well. Does anyone else want to be on stack? Am I on stack? Whatever you are. Well, it's just a discussion then? Uh, that's what I'm about to ask. Does anybody else have any more proposals? Oh, I do. Oh, that's good, I do. Um, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm, the spokes, I'm in the actual spokes council, even though I represent the Revolutionary Post Brigade. And a woman, Kathleen, mentioned that the artists uh, who are working for the the uh, the um, take over the shareholders meeting, which is a march, want to make some agit props, which is basically tents on a stick, and they need money for that. Uh, she didn't get back to me. She wasn't here today in terms of how much money is needed, but I'll just estimate 200 at most. So if we can have an allocate. I, I don't know if we need to. Is it in writing? Do you have this in no, writing? I don't have it in writing. Okay. okay. Right. Please, please, please bring this in writing on Saturday or. A okay. Thank you. Okay, fine. Does anybody else have any proposals? Yeah, All right. uh, I think we did a great job tonight, and we can continue with the discussion about uh, delegates and the like. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Diamond Dave. I'm not Diamond Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's Ruby Gray. Uh, no, I told Diamond Dave that I thought Diamond Dave was more too elitist to be too far apart. I want to back up a little bit here before you sketch and start. <laughs> Oh, I get an announcement. No. I don't really see a point in it. Okay. So, this roundtable discussion on okay. the proposal. Announcement. I think it's. I think it's uh, great. Um, I think there needs to be. I think there needs to be a further discussion of this. Uh, I think it's a great a question that needs to be explored. Uh, All right. Um, can I can I make a proposal therefore that next Tuesday we set aside some time to start this discussion? Yeah. Sure. That'll work. That'll work. Tuesday. You know, yeah. it'd be okay if it was to where? Like like it's a sort of determines the only just how the spokesperson should be decided by that if the yeah, Tuesday's to Wells Fargo. Oh, no GA on Tuesday? Uh, that should have been announced. No GA on Tuesday! No GA on Tuesday! Is that No, it's Wells Fargo. Yeah. Oh, that's of course. Okay. Thursday. Okay. Where's our facilitator? Have your working group. Everybody took off. Uh, well, contact, talk to me if you're interested. Okay. If there's enough people interested, we'll you know, jump the gun to start okay. that right, right. discussion. Right, These are complex right. questions. They're not going to be easy to solve. The more input, the better. Well, we're going to have them done here at 101, right? If no one contacts me, we're not having them ever. You know, but we'll have them here in DA if people agree that next Thursday we should have a discussion. Yeah, that's a terrifying and important aspect. It's like there's going to be a group of folks. Who's facilitating? How about it? The meeting's like, over. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I guess the meeting is over. It was not formally announced. Uh, hey, I'd like to thank all the viewers that watched the, uh, this evening. Uh, this is Clark Sullivan, and I was live streaming Occupy San Francisco's General Assembly. And General Assemblies are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays, generally uh, starting around 6, but lately it's been closer to 7. And then there's also a General Assembly on Saturday that starts at noon. So uh, do come and attend the General Assemblies. Uh, uh, we look forward to it. It's 101 Market Street. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you again. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be live streaming tomorrow on my Cannabis as Medicine channel at uh, Hippie Hill at 4.20 p.m. So I hope to see you there.
and uh, follow me on Twitter. It's at Freeman, F-R-E-E-M-A-N-S-U-L-L-I-B-A-N. And uh, for the latest updates and to find out the next time that I'll be live streaming. So uh, thank you, and uh, I'm signing off for tonight. Thanks for watching.